hi everyone so in this video we are going to see how do we integrate the cucumber jvm report into our test automation framework so there are actually um, two main ways uh, way in which you can integrate this report uh, one is via the uh, maven um, goal so you can specify maven verify goal and then when you run that um, maven command this reports alt automatically generates as part of the build uh, there is another approach where you can uh, directly um, create a function in your uh, project and then you can just call that function at the end of the execution when you are manually running the test runner file um, and this is the code snippet that uh, that this project gives us which we can readily use as is in our prog uh, program so now let's see how do we do that uh, in our project. So let's move to Intel IJ. So let's move to Intel IJ. So now that we are here in uh, our project, so this is a simple uh, Cucumber project. So we have a login feature file, which is a pretty basic with just one scenario and we have respective step definition package where we have this implementation we are just printing out three statements here and um, we have framework utils the typical uh, like uh, framework components and then we have our test runner file where we start our test execution let's create a, another utility class um, let's name it reporting utils so now that we have our reporting class let's go to test runner and just run our scenario so this is just a basic test run it's going to print three three um, statements from our step definition Yeah, so this is completed and uh, you see the cucumber.json report is created in our project. So this is an important step. So uh, make sure that you have everything set up and configured properly and cucumber.json file is generated when you just run your uh, uh, scenario. First, let's bring in that code uh, that we have here from the from the Git project, right? So um, let's copy this as is, okay? And uh, let's um, create a function. Um, let's have a static function. and uh, let's just copy paste that all everything right now <coughs> in order for these um, to work right i think configuration and all you need to have the cucumber um, this master thought uh, maven dependency added right that you can go and search um, so let's uh, maven Cucumber master thought reporting, right? So just go and uh, in Maven repository, you should be able to find. You can get any latest version and then uh, just add it to your dependency, right? So I already have this added, so I'm not going to add again. So if I go here, I can show my pong file. So this this is already there so you don't have to so I'll not add but you you need to add that then resolve this right so I just need to have the imports done um, these are pretty basic from Java utils and this configuration um, should come from your master thought uh, API 
and same with the presentation mode I guess and then collection is and uh, again report builder I guess same and reportable okay so now that we have resolved all the configuration right let's quickly see what exactly this does right so first it it asks for a report output directory so report output directory where we want the report to be stored so let's create a folder um, and let's name it uh, report all right so then uh, this is the path where we want our reports to be generated next thing is it asks for um, it takes a few JSON file list of JSON files from which it needs to create the report. Uh, for this example, we'll just use one JSON file. So I'll delete this. And then we need to give the path of where JSON cucumber.json gets created, right? So for us, it's and usually typically it's under the target folder. So let's just uh, copy the path, content root path, and paste it here. Alright, so we have done this. Now build number is your um, specific build number you want to give, project name, any specific project name you want to give. I will just keep it as is for now. Um, the other configuration related details also, these are optional details so you can let, let it be as is or you can remove them. Um, so build number is set. This you you are going to see where this will be shown. This will be shown in the report, especially platform browser and branch, right? Um, and then this is again optionally added metadata so for now we I don't want to add a new cl classification files you can get um, your uh, like key value pair added in the properties file and then you can add them and uh, for the other one just generate report I'll um, I'll just keep it as is so that's pretty much it actually um, we have the function all set and ready now we need to call this functions when we run our test runner class right so the best way is to add a call here here itself um, so let me see if I okay. so it's under reporting utils dot generate okay this is a class so let's say public void generate report and here reporting utils dot generate jvm report so let's add this so uh, what else do we need so let's try to run see whether it generates or not right all right so it is finished but we don't have our reports generated right so what we need to do here so normally you cannot do just like that so there is a one way, uh, way around this is you can actually uh, extend this to a, a test ng runner so cucumber also have a integrated test ng api so um, i'll just search that and we are going to add that as our maven dependency and then i will show how you can leverage that right um, and integrate with this so um, so let's say cucumber um, test ng maven right yeah let's do that yeah cucumber test ng so this specific dependency you need to add so again I have already added in my project so I'm not going to add that but please add the dependency in your specific um, project so this is what I have already added 
so now now that we have that what you can do we can extend this with the abstract test ng cucumber test and then you can actually um, have an annotation after suit here so that this runs after the, all the test scenarios or scenarios are run so now if we generate if we run this and um, now you need to change your runner configuration also you, sh you should not run just as a normal j unit class right java class so uh, go to your run settings and edit configuration add a test ng um, runner so you can click here and then add a test ng runner specify the runner class that you are going to run and then you're all set so once you run this it will run as a test ng run so let's see whether it runs and creates a report here right so you see this the report is created here now so when you open this you can open the uh, overview html uh, so now you have your test ng report uh, generated the project uh, and the build number everything we are setting in that function that was given and we have platform you can change everything from there you can go inside the feature and see those tests that were run um, yep so that's pretty much it um, thanks for watching